A lot of times, the hardest part of writing music can be right at the very beginning, when you're trying to find the idea to start with. We hear all this incredible music around us all the time, that it can be easy to think that our ideas are not as good as the ones that we know and love. In this video, I'm going to help you overcome that feeling by explaining a simple truth. The idea you use doesn't really matter. I made a video a few months ago about what makes a good idea. You need a distinct interval and a distinct rhythm. Put these two elements together and you'll have a motive that will be recognizable and familiar even as you change it and vary it and develop it throughout your piece. So how do you know when you have an idea that's worthy of developing into an entire composition? And how do you recognize when you have a motive that is good enough to pursue? I've come to believe that it's not what you use, but how you use it. And to show you what I mean, I'm going to use the main titles theme from The Mysterious Benedict Society. If you haven't seen it, The Mysterious Benedict Society is a new series on Disney Plus about a group of genius orphans sent on a secret mission to stop someone from controlling people's minds with subliminal messages. It has a fun score by Theodore Shapiro and Joseph Shirley that reminds me a bit of They Might Be Giants and the old spy themes like the Pink Panther. It goes well with the pseudo-1960s aesthetic. Let's start by listening to the beginning of the main theme. If we reduce that down to the essential motive, what we get is this. A four note motive that starts with this descending line from the minor third down to the root, and then a leap in the opposite direction up a fifth. The entire opening titles cue is based around these four notes, which it's a nice motive, but is there really anything that special about it? I think if I was plunking around at the keyboard and I hit upon this, among other things, it wouldn't really stand out as having any kind of special magic. What makes it good is how they keep repeating it and making changes to it throughout the piece. So the first time, it's like this. And the second time, instead of leaping up a fifth, it leaps up a tritone. This breaks our expectations on two fronts because we were expecting a leap up a fifth. This time we only get the tritone. At the same time, we were never expecting an F sharp in the key of C minor because it's not diatonic. You can't defy expectations without setting them up. So manipulating a motive in this way gives you a lot of power to establish an expectation and then break it and surprise people in different ways. If any child is caught cheating, they will be executed. <gasps> excused. Will be excused. In the next bar, we get this descending figure two more times, which means in the span of like eight seconds, we heard this four times already. The next phrase has just as many repetitions of that motive. The main rhythm stays the same, and it's just the pitches that have been moved around a little bit. With all this happening on the top layer with the melody, we also have the harmony. For this theme, we get a descending bass line, which starts at the root and steps down to the fifth. It skips a whole step at first and then goes chromatic the rest of the way down. This is a fairly common bass line. For example, you hear it in Green Day's Brain Stew. What's interesting is that everything else that happens in this theme involves either that main motive or that brain stew bass line. So when we move to the second section with what feels like new material, we still have that exact same bass line in the same key, tying it to the opening section. And when we move into the third section that feels like a bridge and builds up, we don't have the bass line anymore, but we're back to that opening motive. So everything just stays consistent and connected throughout the whole piece. So what's the point? How is this helpful for your own writing? Well, I already showed you there's an example of another song that uses that exact same bass line, and there are plenty more. So that idea is not all that special. And we looked at how stepping down twice and leaping up a fifth is not all that special either. But they still managed to pull off a pretty fun theme for a major show on a major streaming platform. So the lesson I want you to take away is this. A good idea may not be apparent right away, but becomes good in how you use it. And instead, focus on taking your listener on a journey where the main motive is a guide, but should not be confused for the adventure itself. For more about those two elements that make a good motive, watch this video here. And if you're a fan of Disney, you'll probably like this one here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.